Hey everyone, it's Shannon and I'm in the car in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. My daughter has a day camp here this week, so every day I have to drive her about a half an hour and instead of, well some days I went home, but instead of going home, I've been exploring a little bit. Um, Bethlehem is an old steel town and um, you know, m most of the town's pretty old, but they're trying to revitalize it and I was looking for the Sands Casino. So I followed my GPS and it brought me right to the old Bethlehem steel plant and the casino's built right up in the middle of it. It's really pretty cool. So I wanna give you a little bit of a tour. So I'm just gonna drive around a little and show you what I'm looking at here. I stopped in the visitor center and realized they had a walking tour, so of course I had to take it. That's actually an elevator, and if you draw your eye up and follow up, you can see the catwalks that led out to the different areas. This would have been used primarily for maintenance, as, as well as the stairs on either side of the blast furnace, uh, on either side of the tracks. Now, I want to point out this plaque to you here. Um, the primary reason, the gentleman on the end here, is, his name is Richie Check. Richie ends up being my father's foreman. The reason that there is a plaque here with Richie on it, first, his dad started working at the Bethlehem Steel in 1910. The gentlemen next to him are his eight brothers that all worked here at the Bethlehem Steel. He also had a sister that worked here. In addition to that, last year I had the pleasure of meeting a niece who also worked here. 11 family members, combined years of service, 441. The Bethlehem Steel wasn't even open that long. <laughs> After my tour of Bethlehem Steel, I explored the area a little more. And I found this beautiful rail trail right across the Lehigh River from the Bethlehem Steel plant. So I went for a little run. Then I needed lunch, so I took a little trip downtown. Okay, we're taking a little drive through Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and this part is um, actually Moravian College. A lot of these amazing old buildings here, these date back to the mid-1700s. They are used for the college now, Moravian College. office buildings on the left. All right, and now we're just gonna turn on to Main Street. And there's just like a one or two block stretch here that has some little trendy stores. You see to the left, the Hotel Bethlehem. That's a key, uh, gorgeous hotel, um, really beautiful inside. They've got a bookstore, a handmade chocolate place, little uh, art boutiques and crystal and some great restaurants. Um, I just had an excellent buffalo chicken panini at Johnny's Bagel and Deli right here. There's the Bagel and Deli. And up here there's a tapas place and a crepes place. And, you know, four or five other restaurants, steak restaurants, stuff like that. Um, so it's a cute place to spend a couple hours walking around. Okay, I'm gonna turn here because I don't know what is going on with this truck. And I have another truck. Oh my god, I'm completely stuck here. So that was a pretty fascinating tour. Um, I can't believe that I've lived here for 15 years within a half an hour of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania and never knew that they had tours of the old steel plant. Um, it was a really cool day and I'm so glad I drove around and checked it out. See, all you have to do is get in your car to have an adventure.